Hello and welcome to this tech tip. Today we wanted to show you how to set names and labels in IBM SVSS statistics. My name is Astrid Cook and I'm an analyst here at version one. Now, did you know that you can set whether you see variable names or labels when you're working in dialog boxes in the IBM SVSS statistics? So a variable name is a short variable name such as income or spend. The label would be the longer description or the actual question. Let me show you what this looks like in a data set. Now do you see where I have the green arrow? So we have a variable called health. The actual label, the question was in general, how is your health? Now I'm in the variable view and you can see I've got the name column and this shows me the short variable names and then we have the label column here and this shows me the longer variable labels or the actual questions. So when you're working in SPSS you can actually toggle between the short names and the longer labels in a dialog box. Now if you look down here you can see I'm working in a frequencies dialog box I can click on a variable, right click, and ask to show the variable name, or I can show the longer labels. Also, you can set your choice by going to the edit menu and selecting options. This will bring up the options dialog box. Now you can see here there is a general tab, so you'll click on the general tab, and then you'll go to the variable list section here and you can ask to display labels or you can display names. Also, you can sort the variable lists in alphabetical file or measurement level order. So let's see how this works in SPSS. So I'm in SPSS and I'll go on the analyze menu come down to descriptive statistics and I'll click on frequencies. Now to the left, I have the list of all of the data, all of the variables in my data set. Now if I click on marital status, I'll right click. I can show the short variable names. I can right click again and ask to show the labels. So you can go between showing the short name or the label depending on what you prefer. So I'll select a variable, move it across. Now remember, when you're working as well, when you switch between, for example, showing names or labels, you'll see the labels for all variables. And if you right click again, remember you can sort alphabetically by file order or by measurement level. Now we can also set this if I go to the edit menu. And I'll come down to options. And I'll click on the general tab. And then I will go to the variable list section. I want to now display the names. I'll keep the sorting in file order. And then I'll just click OK. And it brings up a message. It lets me know that changing any option in the variable list group will reset all dialog box settings to their defaults. And all open dialogs will be closed. So I'm going to click OK. And when I go back into my dialog box, now you can see I have the short variable names. So that's everything we wanted to show you today. For more tech tips, you can go to the tech tips section within the Learning Hub. Of course, you can contact us at svssadmin at version1.com. You can phone us and you can check out our website at www.svssanalyticspartner.com. So thanks for watching and bye for now.